was out shooting the bow today and figured it'd be a better time as any to talk about a hunt that Eli and I had last year in archer season where I shot at the biggest buck of my life. A lot of things happened that night and uh, we didn't really get to talk about it much because a few weeks later Eli ended up shooting that deer so the video was focused on Eli killing that buck but I want to show you that hunt and talk about three things. Number one being deer dropping, number two broadhead choices, and last one I want to talk about dead zone of a deer. You smoked flat top. There's not much penetration though. I'm nervous. Call Isaac then. Let's watch his footage. Probably. Hit in his shoulder? No. Just and why? So there's a few things I want to talk about after watching that hunt. The first one being how much flat top actually ducked after I shot him. It was my mistake. I let out a grunt at the deer. And uh, deer are already on edge. It's their natural instinct to get away from any predators so they're always on high alert and when you let out a grunt like that it's just bad news don't do it because they will duck anything with the slightest noise so that's exactly what happened I shot he ducked a good six inches maybe even more than that on impact with the air you can see that it doesn't really get that much penetration but when the deer is running away you can see that there is a good six inches maybe even more than that of arrow sticking out you can see the gold tip here when he's running away it didn't get much penetration but it got enough for that to kill the deer and a lot of people were commenting about broadhead choices about if you had a fixed blade it would have killed the deer if you had a mechanical blade all oh, mechanical blades better fixed blades better i don't really know all i know is that this should be enough to kill a deer whether you have a mechanical blade or a fixed blade. So I'm still going to be shooting mechanical blades this year. They were rages last year that I was using. I ordered some more of the same exact ones. So until something else happens, 
this isn't going to change my mind about what broadhead I'm going to use this year. With that being said, how did that deer get away from me on that night? And I really think it was because of the dead zone. There's a lot of argument going around whether there is a dead zone, whether there's not, but you know, I really didn't know. I was kind of skeptical with both sides. Definitely after my experience on that night, I do think that there is a dead zone on a deer. If a broadhead gets this much penetration, hits the opposite side shoulder, I really do think that there's a dead zone someplace in that area. And I truly believe that if I was a little bit lower, just a little bit, I would have killed that deer. But because I was a little bit below the spine, a little bit above the heart and lungs, I think that I hit right in that dead zone of a deer and it got away from us that night. This is kind of a quick random video that I decided to put together, but I thought it was something that we could kind of learn from and uh, talk a little bit more about that hunt because it was pretty crazy, pretty epic, and it was a giant buck, buck we had named Flat Top, but archery season is going to be here before we know it, so I hope this gets you guys in the mood, and if you didn't learn anything, hopefully you got to see the hunt again, and uh, until next time, thanks for watching.